Hello everyone, we are back. This time it's going to be about adjusting the mixture for high density altitude operation. Here we are in Idaho, approaching to land at Bruce Meadows. This is the highest airstrip I ever landed at. Uh, altitude is 6,700 feet. As you can see, you can do a very, very long approach with no obstacles whatsoever. On this day, the temperature was about 20 degrees Celsius, so at the end of the day, we're talking about 7,000 feet density altitude. We're doing a long takeoff roll, staying down effect to get more speed and then start to climb. Definitely at this density altitude airstrip, you need to adjust the mixture to get more performance. Your airplane feels the density altitude, the air is thinner, so there is less lift. The wings have less lift, your engine has less power, the propeller is producing less thrust. Also because of the thinner air, you are landing at a higher ground speed. So there is nothing you can do for the performance from the airplane, the wings, and the propeller, just keep the right speed. But for the engine, you can adjust the air mixture and you can produce a bit more power, more performance. Here we are departing in Johnson Creek, 4,960 feet elevation. Uh, the temperature might be about 15 degrees Celsius, maybe a little more. So let's say 5,000 feet density altitude. Now let's see this same takeoff and I'm adjusting the mixture for the takeoff to get more performance. What I do is I add power and then start to reduce the mixture. When the RPMs start to go higher, I increase the mixture just a bit and then I'm ready for the takeoff. And then you see that it is a long takeoff roll. So I do this um, adjustment of the mixture by feel, by ear. I do not do it by the engine monitor. The way I do the lean for high density altitude operations is I start leaning by retracting the mixture until the RPMs increase. Then when they increase, I add some mixture in to be on the safe side or else it will be too lean. It's better to be on the rich side and on the lean side. So when I lean for high density altitude operations, let's say leaning back and then the RPMs increase, then I go in a little bit. But what I want to show you is, let's say this gap is this size. So for the rest of the day, any, anywhere I land, I land full reach or I land like this. Before the next takeoff, I don't have to do the whole procedure. I just go and do the me same measurement and that's my measurement for the day because the temperature and the altitude of the area I'm operating. This is if I'm operating at high density altitude operations in 
Idaho son finalidad. This is Moravia in Costa Rica, 5,000 feet density altitude, small tires, muddy grass street, needs lots of space to be in the air, but he made it safely. I am not sure if this pilot reduced the mixture for high density altitude operation. Creek, I flew to Cabin Creek, this earth trip. So that's where I use the gap I put between the instrument panel and the mixture level. So I don't have to do this every time because there is rocks and you can damage the propeller. So as you can see, it's not like a super exact science. It's just by feel, by sound, that you get the right mixture for the altitude here we are in the upper loon again i check the gap between the mixture and the instrument panel and i'm ready to go upper loon is at 5500 feet elevation on this day with the temperature we're talking about more than 6000 feet density altitude so definitely it helps to adjust the mixture for these kind of operations. Now we're taking off from lower loon. Again, I check the gap, the mixture lever and the instrument panel, it's the same as before, and I'm ready for the takeoff. This airstrip is shorter. I want to use ground effect to gain more speed because you will start climbing right away, fly over the valley, which is rising terrain. From this view, you can appreciate that as soon as you take off, you're flying over the river, then a little to the right side of the canyon, and everything is rising terrain. So for those of you who fly only on the coast on flatlands, you have to make sure you learn to lean the mixture, but also, very important, do not carry a lot of cargo, a lot of fuel if you need to. Be very careful with the weight of the airplane. Uh, next street is also very high, 6,700 feet elevation, is Memalus in Idaho. This time we are with a full camping gear and a little bit more than a fuel and the uh, airstrip is kind of wet so this is going to be a long takeoff roll. Without leaning for altitude it will be a big problem to be able to take off. You can see how long of a takeoff roll that was and I stay in ground effect and it's still it's a long airstrip so I have plenty of room but definitely you want to be prepared for high density altitude operations. Learn to adjust the mixture for high density altitude, be aware of the weight of the airplane, the temperature, how the temperature makes a big difference and also never exceed your capabilities. If you are in doubt, it's better not to do it. Also recommended for Idaho, many people, many pilots take an instructor from the area to show them the airstrips, they show them how to do the leaning of the mixture and all the tricks about flying safely at high density altitude. I learned to fly in Costa Rica and when I was learning I asked instructor what was that red knob for 
he told me to never touch it and he never taught me how to use it during the whole training. I learned on a Piper Cherokee Warrior 160 and we had an airport at high density altitude about 5,000 or 6,000 feet and we flew the whole training with rich mixture and the airplane performance was really terrible. So lean for altitude be aware of the weight of the airplane, fly early, so it's cooler, better performance, there is no wind usually, and be sure about your capabilities. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to support a Country 182 YouTube channel, please join me on Patreon. See you next time. Description of this video, I navigate uh, below by Country 182 at the top right, you can click on Patreon and it will take you to the Patreon page where you can select your membership level. It will show you the peers and everything. By becoming a Patreon for Backcountry 182, you will not only be helping the YouTube channel, but you can also get direct advice or discount on some aviation products for your airplane or advice or products for your airplane. We can chat and video call.